college sweethearts, five children, and almost 60 years of marriage. Nancy Pelosi is one of the most powerful women in the country. But who is the man who's been by her side for all of it? A love story written in the stars, Nancy Pelosi and Paul Pelosi met as college students in 1962 while taking a summer school class on the history of Africa south of the Sahara. In 1963, the couple got married at the Cathedral of Mary Our Queen in Baltimore, Maryland, and the couple moved to San Francisco after getting married. There, they raised their five kids, Alexandra, Paul Jr., Christine, Nancy Corinne, and Jacqueline. The children were all born in just over six years, Pelosi said on MSNBC. Upon moving to San Francisco, Nancy reportedly stayed home with her kids, something she apparently found the most joy in. She told USA Today in 2007, there is no more important responsibility than raising a family. She also emphasized that her political accomplishments didn't compare to her role as a mother. As told in Susan Page's book, Madam Speaker, Nancy Pelosi and the Lessons of Power, Nancy ran a tight ship and had a system for the daily routines at home. Nancy Pelosi is one of America's most important political figures, but Paul Pelosi has no interest in soaking up the attention surrounding his wife. He told The Washington Post in 2009, I understand, of course, that since a woman has had such a phenomenal success, people wonder, who is this guy she's married to for 47 years and has five kids? But it's her celebrity, it's her career, it's her responsibility. I'm enormously supportive and proud about it, but I see absolutely no percentage in trying to share the limelight. You buy her clothes? Oh. Well, she hates to shop. As Douglas M. Hoff has learned to support Vice President Kamala Harris and Patrick G. Jackson has been a strong support system for Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson, Paul Pelosi has also mastered the art of being a supportive husband. In 2002, when Nancy was sworn in as House Democratic Whip, Paul was standing proudly by his wife's side. Notably, Paul, a successful businessman and real estate mogul, has been careful not to get himself involved in deals that could harm Nancy's reputation or threaten her position in politics. He told The Washington Post, Back in the day when she first went into government and I was in real estate, I never did anything with resolution trusts. I've religiously steered away from anything that would look controversial to her position. In 2013, Politico reported that Nancy Pelosi took a day off from official duties to celebrate her 50th wedding anniversary with Paul Pelosi. This singular move would prove that despite the enormous responsibilities that come with holding a public office, Nancy continued to prioritize her family. However, the New York Post claimed that this couple's union is not as golden as it appears. A supposed insider said Paul had previously been a ladies' man, alleging, he was a real man about town until she became speaker and that got shut down. I'm amazed they kept it under wraps. She's off running the country and he's back in San Fran, but he's stuck with her. He could have dumped her ass for some pretty little thing. He's a good Catholic. Another source insisted that despite the rumors, Nancy and Paul are just fine, saying, I think they have a very good marriage. He was the second gentleman before there was a second gentleman, in a way. He's this big Italian guy who did very well in real estate and handles being Mr. Nancy Pelosi very well. And to the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, I extend to you this gavel. Politics might be her forte, but Nancy and Paul Pelosi are as investment-savvy as they come, and we can't say we're surprised. While his wife made a name for herself in the political scene, Paul registered himself as a business and investment mogul. In 2009, he famously purchased the United Football League team, the California Redwoods, for $12 million. Along with his investment in physical assets, Paul is also a regular in the U.S. stock trading scene. According to Reuters, the businessman has had stock in major global corporations including Disney, Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, and more. Earlier in 2022, Paul made headlines after purchasing $5 million worth of stock options from NVIDIA, a computer chip company. Chipmaker NVIDIA is seeing as much as $5 million of its share snapped up by Paul Pelosi. The purchase came only a few days before Congress voted to move tens of billions of dollars in subsidies to the semiconductor industry. While the timing piqued suspicions that Paul makes his trading decisions based off information he receives from his wife, a supposed friend of the couple insists it was the opposite, telling the New York Post. He was making money for years before she became so powerful. If anything, he might be making less than he could because of Nancy's position. On October 28th, Paul Pelosi was a victim of a brutal attack that left him with a fractured skull, among other injuries. Paul was in his and Nancy's San Francisco home when assailant David DePap broke in during the early hours of the morning, reportedly shouting, Where is Nancy? Where is Nancy? According to BBC News, court documents confirmed that DePap broke into the home with the intent of kidnapping the top Democrat and breaking her kneecaps. Nancy, however, was in Washington, D.C. at the time. Investigators have determined that the suspect had a list of people who he wanted to target. For his injuries, Paul underwent surgery and is set to recover fully. Of course, the attack has taken a toll on the Pelosi's, Nancy told CNN. 
Paul is so concerned about the traumatic effect on our children and our grandchildren, and we're concerned about the traumatic effect on him. But again, he's on a good path with excellent care from San Francisco General and his health care providers. DePap, meanwhile, faces a number of state and federal charges, including attempted kidnapping, attempted murder, assault using a deadly weapon, and burglary, which, according to Politico, could put him away for decades. DePap has since pleaded not guilty to all charges and is being held without bail.